if I could give this 60 stars, I would give this 60 stars out of 10. Like, ready to cry. We'll see, because only like two books in my life have made me cry. So bathroom panicking calling my mom trying to figure out how to use a tampon so that was a fun experience like shit like this I, the older I get the less patience I have like I've always had a bad temper I'm really trying to work on it Ooh. what's up what's up what's up y'all how's it going I just walked in from the gym but I figured I would start this vlog because if I don't do it now I'm going to continue to forget so Today we have another book baddie glow up vlog. I know that's right. Slash a hot girl reading vlog. So if you are new to my channel or if this is the first video you're seeing of mine, my name is Capri Nicole. Okay, welcome, welcome to the island. We have taste, we have flavor here. Book baddie glow up vlogs are basically where I do all of my monthly maintenance, where I do my hair, my nails, my this, my that, blah blah blah, whatever I want to do to look cute. Do I need all that? No, but it makes me happy, so I will continue to do that. And I want to say, this is something that I personally like doing for myself, and it is within my budget. And by the time this video comes out for y'all, it's usually spread across like one week or two weeks of appointments. So please do not watch my videos and ever feel pressured to get new wigs and get new, new get your nails done and get new clothes and do all this. Like if that's something you wanna do and is financially in your budget, feel free to do that. But if it's not, please do not feel pressured on the island. On the island, we do what we like to do, okay? And we also like to budget, okay? So if there's something that you really enjoy that makes you happy, you can call it a glow up. If you like to get your eyebrows done, that's like $7, you can do that. If you want to get a new wig, you can get a synthetic moment. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to do something cute, you know, get get some earrings, get a pedicure, whatever. Do something that's in your budget. Don't ever feel like you have to do all this shit that I be doing in my videos. I do all this because life can kick me in my ass, but guess what? I'm going to make sure I look cute, okay? That's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> I like doing all this stuff and I like getting my nails done, getting my hair done. You know what I'm saying? I like doing all that. So I just wanted to say, don't feel pressure to do any of that. Anyway, we're also going to be doing like a combo because this is also going to be a hot girl reading vlog. A hot girl reading vlog is reading vlogs where I travel. It doesn't always have to be somewhere hot. Vlog where I travel and I'm reading. I'm currently reading is Before I Let Go by Candy Ryan. Now this has been floating all over my timeline, all over my TikTok. Everybody's been asking me to read this damn book. I have been avoiding every conversation around this book. I don't wanna know too much going in. I already know the tropes, I already know enough. I don't wanna be spoiled, I don't wanna know, I, I just wanna know as little as possible. So I've avoided all the spoilers but i do know what the tropes are basically this book follows a divorced couple who is getting like a second chance romance and i'm about 75 pages in and we're reading this over on my book club our island on fable if you want to join us this book is absolutely phenomenal i've literally tabbed like every other page there's so many good quotes in this and i'm just loving the conversations around life in general and just like after divorce and complications in life and i just Kennedy Ryan is really that girl like she really is that girl like I'm not even lying like she really knows what the hell she's doing writing wise it's just she never ceases to amaze me so ready to cry we'll see because only like two books in my life have made me cry so I also have other books that I want to read in this vlog but I, I think I'm just play it by ear because we're approaching the end of the year and I don't want to start reading a whole bunch of books i'm a little halfway through a book currently on my kindle i can't think of what the name is i know it starts with an s i think but i'll put a picture of it up here on the screen so you guys know what i'm talking about but those are the two books that i'm focusing on i might pick up another one come the beginning of the year but i'm really just trying to relax like my main goal is catching up on my goodreads goal 14 goodreads reviews left until i have reviewed every single book that i've read this year so i'm just trying to relax we don't need to put nothing else up i have a to-do list for everything that we're going to be doing in this vlog as far as a glow up is concerned i'm going i didn't even tell you where i'm traveling to i'm traveling i'm going to phoenix to see my man because he's over there for work so i'm going to see my man. i'm going to see my man i'm going to see my man i miss him so much i'm going over there for new year's and for our anniversary because our anniversary is the day after new year's we're going to be celebrating two years baby okay so go over there with my man you know what i'm saying 
<laughs> yeah, so that's what we're gonna be traveling to, you know, so light for a few days. Let's see. So what we're going to be doing in this video, number one, nails. It's been like two weeks. It feels like forever. So it's been going on two weeks, no nails. I'm losing my mind. I need my clackers back. I need my extendos back immediately. That's number one. Number two, the hair. Okay. We have the wig. I don't want to tell y'all what wig I got because as y'all know I'm back in the gym I'm literally in gym clothes and I was trying to get into like doing my own wigs but putting that glue on my on my hair and all that that don't work for me because when I'm in the gym I'm putting in work I'm not playing no games and all that glue and all that stuff it just roll right off after like two days wig be looking crazy so I have been getting glueless wigs i'm just trying to stock up on that as i told y'all in my last glow up i'm done letting everybody play in my head okay like i like hairdressers and i like getting my hair done in the conversations just the atmosphere of black salons i absolutely love it but i'm done letting everybody play in my hair it's time for me to make sure my hair is healthy and just leave my hair alone i love protective styles and I love wigs, but my hair does better with wigs because I'm leaving my hair alone. So I've just been doing research, getting to know my hair, getting to know what works for her, what she like, what she don't like, and sticking to the glueless wigs because I can snatch that shit off when it's time to go to the gym and put it back on when it's time to get cute. That's what works for me. So that's the hair. Gotta get wax, gotta get my brows done. My brows are giving, uh, what does that do that be in Sesame Street in that trash can? Is it grouch? The Grouch? It's not the Grouch. Oscar? Whatever. I think it's. Is it Oscar? It's given Oscar. It's definitely given Oscar. It's given Sesame Street eyebrows. Like, these need to be taken care of immediately. Gotta get a pedicure. I have to pack. Got a cute little suitcase. I have to get my lashes done. We have come to the close of the strip lashes. I told y'all I was taking a little break from lashes, trying to get my lashes to grow back. Just give them a Brit. Because I was going to too many lash techs and I couldn't find the people that I liked. I finally found people that I like, but I didn't really have no lashes left. Okay? So I took like I took like three to six months off because I wanted to just leave my lashes alone. But I'm sick of drawing these wings. I'm sick of doing my makeup. I just want to wake up and my lashes already be on my eyes. That's just what I want to do. And we're going short because we're done with the daddy long leg grasshopper lashes for me personally it just doesn't look good on my eyes it makes my eyes droopy and feel heavy and it just don't work for me so we gonna stick to something a little bit shorter and I got glasses oh yeah so I got some new glasses because the hair that I got I want to just be giving like schoolgirl vibes and so I just got something some dark glasses also because my glasses that i have are falling apart but i got some of you you know you know ah! these are so cute like these are with the hair listen when i put my wig on these gonna these gonna hey these gonna rock with me so these are like blue and black they're super cute and i also got these but these are small i thought they were, i want some big black frames like i want to be giving like college girl college school girl even though my ass don't have no degree okay i want to be giving like college school girl but these are cute but i want them big i want like the bulky frame so uh, usa glasses you okay but i'm gonna tap into zelo because they have those big like unique chunky frames and i just live for them so i'm gonna see what they talking about that's basically it. I'm going to take y'all with me when I go see my man. I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be updating on Fable. So if you're a part of our island on Fable, you will be updated. And you're going to hang out with us for whatever he plans for us to do. I'll take y'all with me to all my appointments. So I will see you guys in the next clip. I'm super excited. I feel like this glow up is just going to just scrub all the pain away. I've just been going through it. And I miss my man. I miss doll. It's just been rough. So I just, this is going to be a great glow up i'm just gonna i want to be revived revived so we're gonna be revived together life ain't gonna beat us down okay life is not gonna beat us down okay so i will see you guys in the next clip bye okay well first of all look at my socks y'all can y'all see my socks these are my favorite thing my mom always get me these little <laughs> 
these little socks that we used to wear the toe socks any anybody used to wear the toe socks back in the day my mom always get the coolest socks and these are like slippers almost but anyway i wanted to show y'all i got new luggage i just got something small something cute because I'm used to traveling with humongous luggage and just getting away with it and I don't want to do that anymore. Honestly, I can't do that anymore. So because I can't do that anymore and I don't want to be paying like crazy amounts of money for luggage. Because before I could just do whatever I wanted. And now I can't do that. <laughs> my job has changed. So my traveling is different. This is a little luggage I got. I just got something that's small. I also got this. Which is like... You put everything inside of these bags and then you vacuum them. It has a little vacuum inside of here, but it has the vacuum inside of it and you suction out all the air and it just gives you way more space. Like I can load this thing up and it won't be as heavy either. See, hand free pump. Yeah. So I got this. This is like a Taurus's dream. Like I love things that are organized. So when I saw this, I wanted it so bad and I ended up getting it. And I think this luggage has like three pieces. Hold on, let me show you. Oh, it's so little and cute. <laughs> but yeah, it has three pieces. So yeah, we got this side. See, this is perfect. I can put a whole bunch of stuff here. I got the little hygiene bag. And I got, I don't know what this is. Maybe like a carry-on. I'll probably use this for a carry-on really cute so that's how we look in this is my little suitcase i'm ready to go see my man shows the countdown is real but it's okay y'all uh, it's mad early but i had to pull over because i wanted y'all to see it's snowing you can see the snowflakes a little bit it's snowing out here in georgia and i was born in connecticut this ain't no real damn snow but it is below freezing so who knows it might stick but it's really windy so i highly doubt it but if you're from atlanta or you from georgia you already know these people will shut every facility down once it starts snowing so we're gonna see how long everything stay open because georgia just be scared of the snow it really don't be that serious ever but We'll see. Okay. So I just walked in the door and I want to show y'all where Kebs is at now. She's, my lights aren't on, but she's here. <laughs> so she's the first thing I see when I walk in and she's just like swimming around. I'm sorry, she's so cute. Hello. Do you have a foggy tank? You can't really see her. It's kind of dark because I don't have my lights on. But for some reason, Pebs decided that she wasn't going to eat one of the i don't remember what day it was but she didn't eat so now all of that food is on her filter yes i'm talking about you so i'm about to clean her filter really quick <laughs> and make sure she will be good for the day he's such a mess i might get her some fish later too now I am bundled up. It is so cold outside. It is extremely windy. It's 15 degrees right now in Georgia. Listen, I'm from Connecticut. I don't play them games. I make sure I bundle up. I got my puffer on. I don't play. You hear that wind? Do y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear that. Let me take my glass off, child. But anyway, we here. It's time to get my nails done. I have been with these little stubs for like for too damn long. Okay, I'm ready to get my nails did. This is step one to the glow up slash hot girl reading vlog. So let's get it, okay? I can't wait to show y'all. Can't wait to show y'all my nails. I'm just ready to get them done, child. Okay, let's go inside. This one? This one? Oh, that's his, what's his name? Cinnamon? Cinnamon roll? Cinnamon roll. Like <laughs> I've been out of my head. Can't get out of bed. Too much on my brain, but got it good. Can't complain. It's like I'm losing my mind And time's hard to find What's a girl gotta do to catch a break up? When life tries to test me I take it one day at a time Cause I was crying yesterday But look at me today It has been so long
put a dress on today I don't care what you say And I'm ignoring my phone So don't try to reach me I can't do nothing for you So don't ask, I ain't coming through Cause I'm running away to my own world That's where I Okay, y'all. I have some things I need to show y'all. Number one, my nails. Now, I don't know what nobody else nail tech is doing, but mine, yeah, she ain't kind of play. She told me that she wanted to do these, like, Sereno, whoever the hell, the Hello Kitty characters. She wanted to do them, but, like, as a Christmas set. So... I just let her do a thing, child. I just let her do a thing. She did such a great job. Like, to be this talented and to be so young is just amazing. She also just went through a breakup. So we was talking about that while I was there. Men are really the worst. Not my man, but, you know, I've been hearing some horror stories. Anyway, nails came out cute. Very cute. Very, very cute. Look at that. She really did her thing. I like the little stars, too, and the little pearls. Another thing, child, why did I buy? I bought these two postcard prints from, I think it's the book is called The Fine Print. I ain't read neither one of these books, but I just want them. They're just so beautiful. Look at them. Look. I don't even know who the hell these characters are, but I hope when I read this book that I like them. I mean, she black, so I had to get this one. Like, I'm gonna assume this is a marriage of convenience, but this is just so beautiful. I had to snatch this one up. I'm hoping I like this series because if I don't, then I wasted my money. Anyway, I got the Capri Bagel. If you're new here, which I know a lot of you are, welcome to the island. The Capri Sandwich is some shit that I made up from Panieri, and it's hot fire flames, like... This is literally the best bagel option. So let me tell y'all what's in it. Again, we get the egg white avocado spinach sandwich, which is already a sandwich on Panera. Okay, you take off that nasty thin wheat bread bagel that they put on there and you slap on an Asiago bagel instead. And then you add chipotle sauce. And you add Gouda cheese, and you take that egg white shit off, and you add the runny egg. Okay? Now that's how you do it. All in all, you got the Asiago bagel, you got the Gouda cheese, you got avocado, tomato, spinach, the runny egg, chipotle sauce. It's the Capri bagel. So if any of y'all try this or any of y'all like Panera, please let me know. I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram because I'm telling you, this is the way to go. Okay, but I'll check in with y'all with the next clip. Bye. What do I do? Why is it so hard to find someone new so far away? All the days that I used to have someone right beside me. Now I can find in my phone screen. It's tiring. Just wanna feel some. Pause. Y'all. <laughs> come to me. Come to me. This is my last review. And I will officially be caught up on all of the books that I read this year. This year I read 134 books. And this is the final review that I have to write. As of right now, because I'm 70% into another book. And once I finish that today, I'll just have to write that one really quick and be done. But... This is literally the last one. This is the first year that I've actually written a review for every single book I did because I was reading books 
all by black authors so I wanted to do my due diligence and actually write reviews as well as review them on my channel so I am so happy because I have been busting my ass this month to get this done I literally had like I think I maybe had four done when I started this and I had like a month and some change to finish them and I have done that with still like a week to spare in this year so I don't know I'm happy that's all I gotta say bye uh, I don't know what to tell y'all but I can't tell if my eyebrows just need to be done but I swear it feels like they just getting they thinning out like I've been seeing some gaps in my brows I don't know if that's I don't know if I'm tripping, but I'm about to get my brows done, so... And I get my lashes done in, like, two days. Whenever my lashes aren't done, I just see this sharp line here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Maybe I'm just tripping. But, yeah, we're gonna have to... We're slowly piecing together the bad bitchery, so... <laughs> I'm about to go in here and get my lash... Or, my lashes, get my eyebrows threaded. This lasts longer anyway, honestly. My mom made breakfast. It's Christmas. She made these little mini pancakes. And it has like almonds and cinnamon and banana on the side. It's about to slap. Merry Christmas, little island. Merry Christmas to the island. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all can't see. Y'all seen me in a bathing suit before. And y'all family, so it don't matter. But <laughs> tomorrow is the big day. I am getting my lashes back. It has been like six months since I had my individuals. Like, so I could not be more ready. I got my eyebrows done. I got waxed today. Child, I have so much to tell y'all, but I'm going to tell y'all tomorrow. I'm going to show y'all what I got from the beauty supply store. I'm going to tell y'all what happened when I went to the to get wax. And I'm going to update on before I let go because I'm like 100 pages in. But I'm about to do like a two-hour sprint because I'm really enjoying it. So I want to get more done. But, baby, I'm going to be acting real brand new tomorrow when I get my lashes done. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> y'all. I know I said I would never let y'all see me cry, but this needs to be documented because a book has never made me cry like this before. Eddie Ryan, I just want to talk. Like, I just want to talk. Like, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. 
I just want to talk. Like, <sighs> this scene, the scene where she asks for the divorce. Like, the scene where she asks for the divorce. Like, it's so vivid in my head. Like, anybody that's like a reader that actually sees scenes in their head. Like, this is just really tripping me out. Like... <sighs> A book has never made me cry like this before. This needs to be documented. Like, I literally was over here sobbing. Like, it's last page. Let me put y'all down. We were here before the last time I read one of her books, but I wasn't crying quite like this. What part really made me cry? Like, this last paragraph where it says, the room is as still and airless as a tomb, and I can't breathe. The impossible truth of what she's asking me to do, to give up, lands on me with bolder force. I stagger to the rocker, sink into its cushions, aching for the sun that I never got to meet. <sighs> and then it says, I held him once, his body holding on to the last of his warmth, to the residue of life. My teeth clench against the feral scream caged in my throat. And despite all my efforts, in spite of all the ways I've held things together, I felt myself coming apart at the seams. <sighs> I don't even think I could re- I don't even think I could reread this because like, I'm, it's making me cry again. Like, it's making me cry again. Like, and despite all of my efforts, in spite of all the ways I've held things together, I feel myself coming apart at the seams. The very fabric, I can't, like, reading this is making me cry again. This is so crazy. I feel myself coming apart at the seams. The very fabric of my life, every part that matters is ripping like kennedy kennedy <sighs> what does it feel like to be god's favorite writer because like to be able to to be able to explain this a type of emotion like the loss of a child like this and the loss of a loved one and the loss of a relationship of a marriage and of a partner it's just so well done i did not want to cry tonight because i'm getting my lashes done tomorrow i do not want the puffy eyes tomorrow now my eyes are gonna be puffy i don't even i don't even know what to do like i don't know what to do i don't know what to say I can't believe this book has me crying like, like this. Like, the whole argument and the whole scene just was in my head. And it just... <sighs> this really... This is really sad. <laughs> like, bro, this is so sad. Uh, I've held things together. I feel myself coming apart at the seams. The very fabric of my life, every part that matters is ripping. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to stop reading this book or I'm going to be looking like a damn owl tomorrow when I go get to go to get my lashes done. That is so I'm done. I can't I want to keep reading, but I if I read any more, I'm going to be hysterically crying. So, I'm going to wrap this up for tonight. We're going to stop at chapter 14. I'm currently on page 135 and we're going to call it Island. I'm going to read some more tomorrow, but I need to do something happy, like play Animal Crossing or something. But this book is just <laughs> time to go. I will see y'all in the next clip. Bye. This lighting is absolutely horrendous. I look like a ghost. Okay. Um, I don't even know where to put y'all. Child, all I have to say is it's a wonder how I've n I have not gotten into an accident in Atlanta. These people do not know how to drive like it's insane like driving on the highway is such a nightmare that's why i like minimize 
like how much driving I do because these people just don't care. They don't use signals, they merge in and out of, there was literally like an explosion on the side of the highway from an accident. It's insane, I, I don't understand. Anyway, child, we here. I'm here to get my lashes done. We going up at her five minutes early. So I'm gonna pop in there. I would have been, it's crazy. The time for me to get here went from 17 minutes to 31 all because of Atlanta traffic. So I'm about to go in her. I'll see y'all when I come at. <laughs> Looks like I lost my favorite times See you've been on the mind I've been seeing great lights Got inside your great lights Let me talk to you in straight lines Y'all I need to update y'all on everything that's happened in the last couple of days, which has been so fun. So number one, I went to get waxed, but of course my period started before my appointment. So yeah, I had the pleasure of using a tampon for the first time. I don't use tampons because I don't know what it is about it, but it simply makes my skin crawl thinking I'm corked up like a wine bottle, like just having something stuck inside of me and I'm just going about my day it just it freaks me out I simply don't want to do it but in order to get wax I had to use it so 30 year old me had to call my mother because I didn't know what the hell I was doing so I was in the bathroom panicking calling my mom trying to figure out how to use a tampon so that was a fun experience but all in all it went fine I got wax that's done and I took it out as soon as I was done like literally directly after and it was so uncomfortable so I hated that for me next thing my last appointment you know I got there at 1:50 no one's at the front desk the music is blasting i i inserted clips so y'all will see like there was no one there because y'all know i like to get footage for y'all i don't care who's around or if i'm in public or whatever i'm not shy to film so i was just you know getting shots or whatever waiting for someone to come to the front i sit there for 10 minutes at this point it's two o'clock which is when my appointment is no one comes i'm like okay I'll, I'll wait like 10 minutes maybe they're just running behind i'll wait another 10 minutes 10 minutes into the appointment I'm supposed to be having. I don't see nobody, so I'm going to the back. Because I'm like, where are the people at? Ain't nobody coming to the front. Y'all don't answer your phone. So I go to the back. I don't see anybody. So I go back to the front. I wait another 10 minutes. At this point, it's almost 2.30. So then I'm like, I'm not coming back to the front until I find someone. So I go back there. I run to this girl. And I'm like, where is this girl that's supposed to be doing my lashes? My appointment was 30 minutes ago. And she was like, oh, are you Capri? I tried to call and... Kira was supposed to do your lashes, but her flight got canceled and she's not going to be able to do your lashes. I said, wait a minute. Why is she booking appointments to do the day that she's coming in, supposed to fly in? If I was a lash tech, I would not be booking appointments the day that I'm flying back. Like, that makes no sense. You do it the day you come at, the day after, when you're settled, when you're in your, when you're back home, whatever. Why would you be booking appointments for the day you're supposed to come back? And she's like, oh, well, I tried to call. She shows me a number. That number is not, it was not my number. They had the wrong number. But the thing was, I had called and texted them the day before my appointment because I was trying to find out how much cash I needed to bring. No one was answering the phone. It goes straight to voicemail. Their business phone is an iPhone to contact them. And I'm texting. I didn't get a response. They're still emailing me. So I'm just like, okay, I didn't get an email saying your appointment's canceled, nothing. But she's calling and texting a number that's not mine. And she only texted me once. I said, when did you call me? Because if she would have called, she would have known that was not my number. There's no way she called. Text one time to a number that was not mine. Their business phone was not working. I'm just like, you know what? I love supporting black people. But some of this business shit, y'all really have got to get it together. Because I am so fucking sick of spending my money on ghettoness. Like, when it comes to my money... Especially because I was going on a trip. I was like, and I was so excited to get my lashes back because it's been like, like six, six months since I got my lashes done. So I was like really excited to get my lashes done. And this girl isn't even here. She's not even in the damn state. Like, 
shit like this I, the older i get the less patience i have like i've always had a bad temper i'm really trying to work on it but people really be trying to piss me off because it's like why are you booking appointments on the you're not even fucking here and then y'all don't answer it and the thing that i figured out was they don't answer the phone so that they can charge you for because they make they charge you for half of your appointment plus a cancellation fee so when you try to cancel or you have an issue or whatever if you try to call them and say hey can i reschedule whatever they don't answer it goes straight to voicemail. Then they can charge you ba damn near the the full price of what your appointment would have been, and they just wouldn't do the service, which is which is bonkers to me. But I literally would just call in to find out how much money I needed to bring. It, like it literally. And if somebody would have been at the front of the damn building, they could have told me, "Hey, your, your appointment's canceled, whatever." Child. Anyway, so then I rebook with someone else. She does my lashes. It ends up costing more and takes longer, so it messed up my entire schedule for yesterday. I don't even really like my lashes like that. Honestly, I just didn't want to show up and see my man with the bald eagle look. Like, he loved me natural with wigs or whatever, but I like to look good. And I wasn't trying to show up looking like a zombie. So, these are straight. Like, she she was really nice. She did a, a good job. But, like, I was there fucking forever. And I don't even really like my lashes like that. And my eyes are puffy because my eyes don't like the glue, but, you know, beauty is pain. I just, I'm so annoyed because I know I'm going to have to come back, pay to get these taken off, and then I'm going to be on the hunt for a new lash tech because after I cuss the people out, I know I can't go back there. So, and I'm just, I'm fed up. I'm sick of it. I need somebody that's on time, professional, and knows what the hell they're doing. The other thing, I want to show y'all what I got from the hair store. So, I just got this little mini hairspray bottle. Just trying to make my hair smell good. The wig that I got, I already washed it. I got this very 90 um, headband, you know, the one that you put the combs through. That used to be my mom's thing when I was growing up. I also got scrunchies. I got lip gloss because ain't no lip gloss like the beauty supply store lip gloss, like period. Okay. I got this cute little hair clip because I feel like the black girls are taking over the hair clip phase that the white girls was doing you know i feel like we taking over it honestly i hate to, hate to see it i've been wearing hair clips i have my flower ones but the black girls are eating it down with these hair clips i ain't gonna lie but this is really cute it's like pearls it's a heart very adorable i don't know i think that's cute i got ribbons i got a flat iron because i still have to style this wig that i got I got little butterflies. Oh, I got these earrings that I have in my ear. Just some chunky gold ones. Ain't no earrings like the Beauty Supply Store earrings. Like, period. And I don't have to spend a ton of money to get them. I finally got these earrings I've been thinking about. Like, the diamond studded hoops. I've been thinking about these earrings for like a really long time. They just kept popping in my head. Finally got them. So I got a gold pair. I got a silver pair. And then I got a styling brush. So I'm gonna have to tackle my hair. I don't even know when I'm gonna tackle my hair because yesterday was when I was supposed to do my hair. I might end up having to do it when I go see my man child. I don't even know. But that's all for the update. As far as before I let go, I am 215 pages into it. I've been talking on Fable on my book club, which is called Art Island. If you don't follow me on Fable, you should follow your girl on Fable, okay? So a few of people on there, we've been talking about this book. And this is honestly the first book that's ever made me sob. This is the year of books that make me cry. Because Honey and Spice made me cry. And then this one made me sob. Like, the scene where they talk about their son. And it was like the, also the divorce scene everything about that was so vivid in my head and just the emotions that spill from these pages like her use of descriptions her use of just every the way she just describes the way these people feel in this book it is just in, insanity like grief is so well handled in here mental health is so well handled in here i'm just if i could give this 60 stars i would give this 60 stars out of 10 like i'm more than halfway done but i'm just i'm loving it we've already started tabbing her this is my first time tabbing with only one color i'm kind of feeling it because it kind of matches you know but i ran out of that color so we're gonna have to move on to the next blue but loving this i just had to update y'all on my past shenanigans and <sighs> these folks just messed up my whole schedule but the next thing i'll probably be doing is showing y'all my hair 
and we'll be flying out because I leave tomorrow. So that's it, child. I need to film this book haul, so I'll see y'all in the next clip. Bye. What's up, y'all? My eyes might be red because I just got my lashes done, but I just want to show y'all my hair. We got the 32 inch, 32 inch bust down. But it's not busting down yet because I haven't flat ironed it or done anything to it. I just washed it and conditioned it so that it smells all nice. But yeah, it's so pretty. 32, 32. But we're on our, I'm about to leave in like two seconds to go to the airport. I like to be there early, child. Like two or three hours before my flight because I like to leave a little wiggle room in case something goes wrong, in case I end up in the wrong place, whatever. I like to be settled. I don't like being frazzled on my traveling day. My flight's at six. I get there at, I think, either nine or 10. I'm just going to Arizona. I'm going to see my boyfriend. That's basically it. I just wanted to show y'all my hair before I head out. I'm probably, I was gonna probably read on the flight, but I think I'm gonna edit because I have a book haul going up, which by the time y'all see this, that should already be up. So if you haven't watched that, go watch that and then come back here but basically we're gonna head out it will, honestly I'm a little disappointed with my packing because I bought these suction bags and I bought the wrong size so I wasn't able to like really compact the stuff the way I wanted to but fortunately I still was able to fit everything in this little suitcase so we looking good we got our little suitcase we got our carry-on and we rest to go so I will see y'all in the next clip Bye. what's up y'all so let me take my glasses off i'm just coming here to close out the vlog and update y'all on a couple things so number one i'm getting sick so if i sound weird that is why my throat is a little scratchy and my nose is starting to get stuffy but anyway let's start from the top i just finished doing a mask which is a perfect way to close out this glow up vlog this glow up vlog did not go at all how i thought it would i thought it was gonna be relaxing and nice and gentle i didn't even get to get a pedicure my lash situation was a mess because i ended up cussing everybody out like i got my period before i got waxed it was just a mess like it was really truly a mess but there's always the next glow up so it's okay uh for the most part everything went pretty good i was actually going to combine the glow up and the hot girl reading vlog together but i feel like it's going to be too long and i would rather just be two separate videos so i'm going to push this video out and depending on what the poll says by tomorrow because i asked you guys if you wanted me to put two out this week or one this week and one next week anyway i just finished doing a mask which was called the nourish multivitamin metallic sheet mask and it had little kisses on it super cute it smells really really good i don't know what i'm trying to see what the smell is it kind of smells like rose almost it smells like rose and like candy and it just made my skin feel really really good so yeah got that done so it's a perfect way to close out my glow up vlog but i wanted to show you guys what my man got me for christmas and for our anniversary and i also want to update you guys on my reading and then close the vlog out so for our anniversary he got me this little jar that has like all these little i guess like quotes in them so it's one that says you're that girl one that says i love you one that says have a laugh inspiration and we go leave. We can't say what that one says, but <laughs> the, all the different colors are what reflect on each little thing. And I thought it was really cute because like he asked his friends for help and they kind of like came together. And I just thought it was really cute because he told me the little story. I thought it was adorable. But all the little quotes in here are very on brand for me because I'm a jar girl. I have a jar for affirmations. And I have this jar, which is my sweet stuff jar. I used I usually do this every year, but I, I kind of fell off this year. But basically, once a week, I put in one thing that was good that happened. And then at the beginning of the year, the first, you know, New Year's Day, I open all of them. And it just kind of is like slice of life, you know, find the small things in life that make me happy. So I am a jar girl. Like, I am a jar girl. And this makes me really happy to add to my collection. And he also... I told him I wanted new headphones for the gym. I wanted something that like cover my ears. So he got me these Beats headphones, which I'm super excited to use because the AirPods are straight, but I need to like 
be immersed in the music I don't want to hear anything like I just want my ears completely covered and these are going to do that for me and of course he got me some books so he got me seven days in june which i'm super excited for i've heard really good things about this book so we're gonna see how that one goes and i love a good second chance romance so i'm excited to read that he got me radiance which i heard uh i think it was riley riley talked about this it was riley and mina i heard riley and mina both talk about this book and i'm really excited to read it because it, is, it doesn't seem like your typical fantasy because the guy's usually like super handsome, super fire, whatever. But in this book, they both don't find each other attractive, but they end up falling in love. And I don't know. I think that's cute. I want to read that. And this one, I'm super excited about because I've heard great things about it. But every time I hear booktubers talk about this book, I kind of just mute them because y'all know I don't want to be knowing too much about the book. So, yeah. I'm not really 100% sure <laughs> what this one is about, but... Um, I have heard a couple things about it and from that I ended up adding it to my wish list So he must have grabbed it from there. He got me some Ariana Grande perfume because I am a perfume girly So he got me a portable storage Adapter which I will be able to transfer all of my footage over here Which I'm really excited for because y'all know I like long-form content on my channel So it takes up a lot of space on my laptop and I really get upset having to delete my videos because I want to always have my videos on hand especially the videos from 2022 i was really proud of the content that i came out with last year i just hate deleting it off my my uh laptop once i actually have it finished so i'm gonna be able to transfer all of that over here so that's that i'm on page 300 of before i let go by kennedy ryan so this one i'm reading slow i really could finish this but i'm just going at the pace of my book club so yeah things are getting intense things are getting spicy and i'm just like super proud of both of these characters and seeing them heal mature and grow even though they're full-grown adults that are parents and own a business like you're never too old to learn and grow and become a better person so i'm really proud of these characters and i'm really enjoying seeing small bits of their life and like their dark days and their bright days and just seeing them fall back in love has just been so beautiful and I can't wait to finish this so I can write my review for it. I'm doing this thing where as soon as I finish the book, I write the review. Crazy concept, I know, but I'm trying to make sure that I don't ever get behind on my reviews again. If you made it to the end of this video, leave an eyeball emoji. <laughs> leave an eyeball emoji if you made it to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you next time. Bye!